Uh, I think it goes back to the fundamentals, uh, and those fundamentals for me are my family. Uh, I have quite a, a family history of uh, health care issues, starting with my mom who died when I was 14 of pancreatic cancer. Um, and that was pretty impactful on me. And uh, when people ask me, why did I go into medicine? I actually had a passion for medicine before that. Uh, but that was the thing that sort of, uh, if you will, nailed a stake in my heart uh, to really drive and motivate me to do what I do today. Uh, but it was more than just that. It was really uh, about um, understanding people, caring for people. Uh, when he is in the unit and when he is speaking with his physician assistants, he's al always mentoring. Uh, he loves to teach, and actually my first day in the ICU, uh, he took the time. He actually stopped and spoke with me about what was going on with the patient. Very intimidating working that unit, of course, but he did. He took the time to explain things, things to me. So my wife brought me here, and uh, we were in the emergency room overnight, and early the next morning they finally did a catheterization and found that I had blockage. Dr. Mangle recommended Dr. Cooper, who saved my life. I think Dr. Creeper is a great role model for his patients. He's very pro-nutrition, always eats a healthy diet, always going to the gym, exercising. He's a great a senior partner, always there to help me, give me advice, and you know, he's an excellent surgeon. He's dedicated to his family. Uh, he's dedicated to his heritage. Uh, he's dedicated to his profession. And uh, uh, of course, he's dedicated to his country as well by serving uh, his country in, in, in uh, the, the Mideast and, and going over there and doing surgeries. And I would describe Dr. William Cooper as caring. Uh, he cares about everyone around him, especially his patients. When, whenever I you know, age and get a little bit older to the point that I hire someone that's younger than me, I would love to mentor them like the way he's mentored me. One thing I like about Dr. Cooper is yes he is very well trained yes he is academically astute but what he did is he has a passion for service and he answered that call for service in so many ways not only does he serve his patients he served his country for well over 30 years he serves the children he serves his church so his compassion for service is very strong